Evolution is an incredible thing, allowing animals to grow and adapt to their changing environments. But many are still unaware that some of the animals among us The frilled shark is one of the most bizarre looking creatures on the planet. are millions of years old, giving them the label living fossils. A living fossil, the tadpole shrimp species, is over 200 million years old. From the king of reptiles to a huge bird that needs no energy to fly, here are the 15 most incredible living fossils in the world. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. <sighs> Number 15. Komodo Dragon As one of the oldest living species on the planet, the Komodo Dragon is easily one of the most incredible fossils we have among us. And as the Earth's largest lizard, it's also basically the king of the reptiles. Think King Kong in lizard form. Okay. I recognize that's Godzilla. It doesn't matter. This is a big lizard too. The Komodo dragon can reach up to 10 feet in length and can weigh up to 300 pounds, making it the heaviest lizard on Earth by some distance. Be careful. He's got the wrong scent. He's got the wrong scent. But while there are stable populations throughout Indonesia, the species continues to fight for survival, even millions of years on, facing constant threats of human encroachment, poaching, and even just a lack of fertile females, the Komodo dragon has continued to thrive in the harshest of conditions for millions of years. That's partly due to its predator genes, which bless them with powerful legs, sharp claws, and teeth filled with venom glands that quickly subdues its prey. And that's before we mention the Komodo's ability to eat 80% of its body weight in a single sitting. Pretty envious of that one, the Komodo dragon is nothing short of a miracle of nature, a relic from the dinosaur era that's still going strong despite its many environmental challenges. Also, it can eat 80% of its body weight. Seriously, very jealous. Time for the rear topic. If you have to choose just one of Earth's fossil-like animals to highlight, it's probably going to be the turtle, an adorably slow-moving, herbivorous creature that we just love. Today's rear topic comes to us from one of our viewers who apparently captured this image of a pretty massive turtle while vacationing in Asia. The photographer claims that this behemoth is being held in a terrarium within a Chinese zoo and is a species native to the country. However, we're not sure exactly what kind of turtle this is, other than a freakishly larger than average species. What kind of turtle do you think this is? Sadly, we only managed to get a photo of it. As always, comment down below with the hashtag, hashtag rear topic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Sandhill Crane Fun fact, other than crocodiles, birds are our closest descendants to dinosaurs. This may make it unsurprising to hear that the Sandhill Crane is said to have one of the longest fossil histories of any bird on the entire planet. It may not reach the dinosaur era just yet, but it's well on its way. Sandhill crane fossils have been found dating back at least two and a half million years and possibly even 10 million years, if you believe some scientists. What makes the sandhill particularly unique is its impressive wingspan, often measuring between five and a half feet to seven and a half feet and capable of keeping this enormous bird in the air for hours without them having to exert much energy. Clearly, evolution hasn't changed these animals much after 10 million years. Shockingly, the sandhill is not an endangered or even threatened species, but they are pretty rare to find in the wild. Due to the behavior of some human hunters, the Sandhill experience something of a drop in population, though they have worked to repopulate the species, mostly by staying away from human contact. A good way to extend your life if you ask me. Number 13. Aardvark If you're a 90s kid, then your only experience with aardvarks is likely to be the classic cartoon Arthur, which stars a family of aardvarks at the heart of the show. Sadly, it seems Arthur was something of an anomaly among his species because none of the others behave like him. They don't even have glasses. But all of these striking features are there for a reason. Aardvarks are insectivores, using their long, pig-like snout to sniff out ants and termites in the terrain before using their legs and claws to dig them out of their homes. Early relatives of the aardvark have been traced back some 65 million years ago, making this animal another famous descendant of the dinosaur era. However, the aardvark is really the last of its type, as every other animal in the order to which it belongs, the tubular dentata, has gone extinct. This is quite literally a living fossil. There is no other animal in the world like it. The aardvark is considered to be pretty safe, making it one of the few living fossils to be of least concern in terms of conservation. But it's worth noting that their numbers are dropping, raising questions about their environmental conditions. Arthur would take care of it, no problem. They could learn from him. Number 12. The Red Panda You'll never see an animal more adorable 
than a red panda, a tiny furry little creature that's basically the jungle equivalent of a domestic cat. But like other living fossils, they're an incredibly unique and rare creature, a look back through time if you will. With its red fur and tiny figure, it's so easy to imagine bringing a red panda home and treating him like your house cat, but you'd be disappointed. The red panda likes to be alone, doing nothing in the day and being very active at night, hunting for food and engaging in activities that would probably make an excellent storybook. In addition to that, the red panda is a lot more than an adorable little cat-like animal. It's the only living species in its family. Contrary to what you may expect, the red panda is not at all related to the giant panda and actually has no living relatives whatsoever. In terms of its DNA, it's probably closer now to a raccoon, the red panda and the trash panda. The red panda is the last living species of the genus Ailurus and the family Ailuridae and is as such considered to be endangered due to environmental changes. Maybe they should team up with the trash pandas and save their species. Number 11. Tuatara It would seem all living fossils are destined to be the last of their species, possibly setting them up for some incredible vengeance mission down the line against the humans that kill their numerous families. But if that doesn't happen, we should probably just be grateful that all of these animals took mercy on us because the Tuatara would easily outlive all of us. The Tuatara is a reptile that can only be found in New Zealand, so it's clearly an animal that has a certain appreciation for beauty. But when it comes to identifying exactly what the animal is, it becomes a little bit of a struggle. The Tuatara is not an easy creature to describe, as it's neither a lizard nor a dinosaur and actually behaves very different to either. Unlike lizards, Tuataras have no external ears. They prefer cooler weather and they're nocturnal. But more than that, they have a third eye that actually works. The Tuatara is the only surviving member of its order, Sphenodontia, which was a hugely popular order back in the age of the dinosaurs. Now, there are around 60,000 of these creatures left, which is probably good as they can live up to 100 years and still remain active. Very dinosaur-esque. Number 10. Nautilus While you'd expect hunters to be more interested in fleshy creatures than shell-based fossils, that's not all the case. While hunters do tend to enjoy taking on more flesh-based animals like deer and foxes, they also apparently love hunting fossils. Living fossils, obviously. They're not shooting leftover skeletons or anything. Well, not yet anyway. The chambered Nautilus is a cephalopod that lives deep below the ocean surface. But unlike its octopi cousins, this is an animal that really doesn't like to come out of its shell. That means no socializing and no underwater parties. Unfortunately, it's that shell that makes the creature appealing to hunters who find it both desirable and highly profitable. The inner layer of a Nautilus's shell is lined with a material known as nacre, which can be used as a substitute for pearl in things like jewelry, which makes it incredibly profitable and also explains why the species is declining pretty rapidly. Fossil records show that the Nautilus, as well as its closest relatives, have been around for somewhere up to 500 million years, outlasting even the dinosaurs. Sadly, with no regulations in place to protect them, the time may be running short, unless they go into extreme hiding and are never found, which is entirely possible. Number 9. Purple Frog Due to their lack of living relatives, it can be the case that living fossil species get all but ignored by scientists who cannot find an explanation for their existence. That was the case with the purple frog, one of only two species in its entire genetic family and a massive headache for the biologists that want to research them. Before 2003, the purple frog hadn't even been described. As a burrowing species, they were mostly undiscovered, with only a few locals being aware of them, and only because they were enjoying the animals as a delicacy. I think we can all understand their reasoning on that then. Thankfully, scientists managed to examine in one of the animals using molecular analysis, revealing that the purple frog is one of only two species in the family Nasicaba trachidae and has most likely been evolving for over 100 million years. So, not just a frog, but an ancient frog. Like other living fossils, the purple frog's environment is all but falling apart. Deforestation and the fact that they're considered to be a delicacy has led to significant damage to the species, culminated in their listing as an endangered species. The lesson here is clearly, don't eat the frogs. Number 8. Platypus When the platypus was first examined in 1799, scientists believed they were the victim of some twisted and very specific prank. The animal they claimed was so absurd that there was just no way nature could possibly have created it. Of course, now we know that nature could have created it and life is all one big prank, basically. Those early scientists were mostly confused by the unusual genetic makeup of the platypus, the duck-like bill, the beaver-like tail, and the otter-like body. To be fair to them, it definitely seems 
more like the kind of result of a mad scientist than a natural creation that would have evolved completely on its own. But the platypus is the remnant of centuries of evolutionary change, with the oldest fossil being dated back around 110 million years. Because of its unusual genetic structure, the platypus is a popular animal with scientists, with many experiments designed to explore the origins of this unique creature. Those experiments have illuminated some aspects of the platypus's evolution, revealing that this creature is actually the result of a kind of genetic branching in the mammal family tree, a rare incident that also led to the development of marsupials like the kangaroos we see today. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Number 7. Mantis Shrimp at around 340 million years old, the mantis shrimp doesn't look a day over three. But don't be fooled by its seeming age or appearance. This shrimp is among the top predators in its shallow tropical underwater habitat, and they can cause some real pain if they want to. A member of the Malacostrasa class, the mantis shrimp evolved from its crustacean relatives hundreds of millions of years ago to become the modern predator we now know. If you're not convinced that these tiny creatures could possibly be a serious contender for the most intimidating predator, it's worth considering that many professionals have to be taught how to hold them. Their sharp claws are designed to attack and inflict damage on those that earn its wrath. Spearing, stunning, or even dismembering its prey, or in this case, your thumb. Seriously, it's happened. The mantis shrimp typically measures around 4 inches in length, but have been known to grow up to 15 inches or even 18 inches in rare cases. Given its small stature and immensely powerful capabilities, it's pretty clear how this animal has been able to survive for millions of years. Pure animalistic rage. Number 6. Hagfish Easily one of the most gross-looking creatures we've had to describe on this list, the hagfish is an eel-like slimy fish and is thoroughly icky in just about every way. Fossils have helped to date them back to vertebrate relatives that lived hundreds of millions of years ago, though these creatures have not changed in the past 300 million years whatsoever. They really are pretty much identical to how they were back then. For scientists, the hagfish represents a crucial link in exploring the evolutionary changes between vertebrates and invertebrates. The hagfish is the only living animal that has a skull but no other skeletal structure, making it technically both a vertebrate and an invertebrate. In fact, the lack of a skeleton works in the hagfish's favor in a gross kind of way. The hagfish has become known as the slime eel due to a weird little habit. When the hagfish is handled in a way it does not like or appreciate, the animal secretes a gross slime that allows it to wriggle back to freedom. If it had a skeleton, it would find it immensely challenging to wriggle out of danger like this. Number 5. Koala the koala fits into a most exclusive category. While their fossils are rarely, if ever, discovered, scientists have determined that they've been around for at least 25 million years and were native to Australia even back then. However, there have been some key evolutionary changes, including one of its famous leafy diet. For one, the modern koala that we now know has only been around for 4.5 million years and is currently the only non-extinct member of the Phascolactidae family, making it a kind of genetic orphan. But more intriguingly is the change to its diet. As the continent of Australia began drying out during the Miocene era, the prehistoric koala's home of choice, the rainforest, began to die, with eucalyptus woodlands starting to take their place across the country. Here, evolution allowed the species to branch from its original family, allowing the koala to survive and thrive on a eucalyptus diet. Therefore, the koala is very, very old-school vegetarian. Most people aren't aware that the koala is millions and millions of years old, likely because most living fossils are pretty freaky looking and the koala is very Instagram friendly. But it turns out that the koala is indeed living proof of evolution. Number 4. Pig-Nosed Turtle Pretty much the animal equivalent of exactly what it says on the label, the pig-nosed turtle is a turtle with a very pig-like nose. It's also a survival story for the ages because this guy is older than dinosaurs. Seriously, he's looking good for his age. The pig-nosed turtle is the only surviving member of the Caratocalidae family, a branch of the animal kingdom that stretches back as far as 140 million years. For context, the dinosaurs went extinct around 65 million years ago. So, this is not only a fossil but also a prehistoric miracle. It's worth saying that there's not a whole lot of scientific information out there about this animal due to its poor reputation. You see, the pig-nosed turtle is very difficult to approach in the wild, not unlike a D-list celebrity or a waiter. 
as a fiercely territorial turtle, an excellent name for a kid's book, it's hard for scientists to get close to the creature without finding themselves on the other end of some severe aggression. For a turtle, I mean, the pig-nosed turtle is considered to be a threatened species, and there have been notable cases of people attempting to smuggle them out of their native homes. In that case, maybe the scientists are just scared of turtles. Number 3. Goblin Shark Easily one of the freakiest sharks you could ever have the misfortune of encountering, the goblin shark is basically nature's answer to the xenomorph, the famous creatures from the Alien franchise, and given that they were long considered to be extinct, they're now known as a living fossil. The goblin shark is a sinister shark just to look at, but it's when you really discover what it's made of that things get genuinely unsettling. The goblin shark has a very unique biological trait called electroreception, which allows it to pick up the weak electrical impulses given off by fish or animals whenever they contract a muscle. That acts as a kind of homing beacon, allowing the shark to find their food with basically no effort. But it gets worse. The goblin shark has an extra weapon in its toolbox, a set of special extendable jaws. Basically, this animal has all the worst parts of the xenomorph, and it thrives in an atmosphere humans don't. Water. It's definitely not something you'd like to encounter in the dark, dark ocean. Scientists still don't know much about the goblin shark since they're very rarely found in the wild. We should probably be thankful for that, all things considered. Number 2. Elephant Shrew You may never see a faster animal than the Elephant Shrew, an ironically named tiny little mouse-like creature that can reach speeds of up to 17.9 miles per hour. In a parallel universe, these animals are the Usain Bolt of athletics. Actually, who knows? Maybe our Usain Bolt is powered by the Elephant Shrews. It's hard to pinpoint an exact date of existence for the Elephant Shrew, as several fossil species have been found across Africa. However, since most of its closest relatives are thought to be extinct, it's almost a dead cert that the Elephant Shrew is one of the few living fossils of our world. And I guess we have to admit, the Elephant Shrew's name isn't entirely ironic. In fact, their genetics make them more closely related to mammals like elephants than any type of shrew whatsoever, which is just another one of nature's hilarious little in-jokes. However, the elephant shrew was initially named as such due to its long snout, reminiscent of an elephant's trunk, so it wasn't all about the jokes. While it's especially old, the elephant shrew has proved to be most helpful to humans. In the 1940s, these animals are used to understand how the human menstruation cycle worked. Who had that idea, you ask? I'm too scared to find out. Number 1. Crocodiles now we come to our old friend the crocodile. Along with birds, crocodiles and alligators are our closest living relatives to the dinosaurs. But unlike birds, these creatures still look as genuinely terrifying as they probably always did, and they behave so too. Crocodiles are one of the most feared predators in the world, capable of dining on pretty much any type of prey that happens to take its fancy. However, while our modern crocodiles are capable of taking on any potential victim that it happens to get close to, research shows that prehistoric dinosaurs would have very much struggled to grab its prey, even from the water's edge. This ancient crocodile researchers claim lived inland in a grassland habitat, had a very short jaw, and fed mostly on vegetarian prey. That's right, ancient crocodiles were vegetarians. So clearly, our modern crocodiles have evolved substantially to become one of the ultimate apex predators of our planet. It's easy to see the dinosaur influence in crocodiles, but it really shows the power of evolution that such a fearsome creature could come out of what was apparently a pretty human-friendly one. Which of these living fossils do you find most incredible? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.